Alright guys, we're on week two of our Whole30. This is the shopping trip that I took over the course of the weekend. Three stores I hit up, Trader Joe's, Sam's Club, and my local farmer's market. You should be able to find the majority of this stuff in your local grocery store, wherever it is you shop, whether it be uh, Giant, Albertsons, Kroger's, Albertsons, did I already say that? Anyway. Um, most of them should have it, and if not, you may need to hit up a specialty store like Whole Foods or Sprouts or Trader Joe's. If you cannot find something, go to Amazon.com. They, I think it's called Amazon Pantry, but they have, I mean, I, I can't imagine there's anything they don't have. So if you can't find it, go to Amazon. Other than that, you should find it at your local grocery store. So congratulations if you're here. You got through week one. It probably kind of sucked. Maybe not. Maybe that's awesome if it didn't. But you're probably uh, going through some, some withdrawal from some of your cravings. But this stuff, this food, the meals I have planned for this week is hopefully going to get you through. They are delicious, full of good nutrients for your body, and uh, going to get you back up and running. Week two should be a little bit easier, hopefully, guys. So let me show you what I got. All right, so let's start over here in our produce section with our fruits and vegetables. Again, you can see it makes up, you know, at least a good half of the table, if not more. Um, and a lot of this stuff, again, you'll kind of kind of see the same as the first week, but I did try to throw in a little bit of variation there. So we've got our um, romaine as well as our organic spring mix. I got some butter lettuce this time around. If you didn't see the first week's meal plan video, this is for a replacement for lettuce, for tortillas, for tacos, that sort of thing. It's great, it's delicious. It's also good just in a salad. Um, tomatoes, avocados, we go through those like gangbusters, so we always have those on hand. Some fresh broccoli, lots of greens here, guys. Green is good. Actually, all colors are good, but green especially. Some green beans. We've got zucchini, cucumbers, some nice fresh organic red bell peppers. You can use green. I know they're less expensive, but they're so much more flavor, in my opinion, with the red, the yellow, and the oranges. So add a little color there. Uh, fresh herbs. We've got cilantro and parsley for this week. Uh, we've got our two bags of baby carrots again. Our oranges. We've got our bananas, some a little less ripe than others, but that's okay. Got a plethora of apples here with some lemons and limes in there as well. We're going to do an apple butter as um, for the girls this week. They love doing it. Super simple. I'll put that video up for sure. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. I am going to be bombarding you with tutorials on all kinds of simple meals, snacks for kids, healthy stuff that you guys are going to love. You're going to want to uh, subscribe for sure. Got some strawberries kind of out of season but they were organic I figured we'd give them a whirl grapes and then all of our potatoes uh, we've got the Japanese yams the red potatoes the uh, some regular yams or sweet potatoes in there and then for our animal protein again a lot of some of this similar stuff from last week but I've got some more uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs I was actually hoping to find the bone in, but I didn't, so that's fine. Um, some more chicken sausages. We get the garlic herb a lot. I love the spicier ones, but my girls don't, so we do that. And then our ground turkey. Got another whole chicken. I love getting whole chickens. If you did not watch the roasted chicken uh, video, please check it out. Super, super simple. It shows you how to use these things. You're going to save a ton of money, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, our organic ground beef, got a three pound pack from Sam's, of course our eggs, this time we went with just four dozen, not six. Uh, we've got some diced tomatoes, along with some tomato paste, I'm going to be making both uh, southwestern creamy chicken, as well as some Whole30 Sloppy Joes. And then over here, these things are great. They're super convenient. They come in cans. They're wild caught red eye sockeye salmon or red sockeye salmon. And then um, this one is more expensive because it's a sockeye salmon. But you can also get the wild caught pink salmon. Either one will do. Obviously, you know, the, the wild sockeye salmon is going to have a little more flavor, but completely up to you. 
This is good. Um, I looked at chicken broth in Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, they add sugar in their chicken broth. Ugh, drives me crazy. But the uh, vegetable broth does not have it. And this is good just for, um, you know, quick flavoring for soups or later on when you start incorporating grains back in. It's really good for that too in place of water. So you can be used in a ton of stuff. This I also got, I usually make my own spice blends, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, but this was um, at Sam's Club, I found it, and it just happened to be just garlic salt spices and natural flavors. So while I'm not crazy about the natural flavor, it seemed easy enough. I thought maybe if I could show you guys some ingredients that you can get at your stores instead of doing the spice blends, it might be easier for you. But I also grabbed some almond flour from my... Farmer's Market, this is actually what's going to mix in in place of breadcrumbs for our salmon patties that we're going to make. And then moving on to snacks, we got some dried fruit. I got dried apricots. These are kind of just a must-have in our house, the Just Mango Slices from Trader Joe's. Also found these guys on the Whole30 at Sam's Club. These are really good, actually. They kind of give you that... Um, when you're looking for something salty and crispy in a chip, those are really good. good. Good replacement anyway. Got some pistachio nuts along with some cashews. We go through cashews a lot, which is probably why cashew butter is our favorite. Coconut milk. I got three of them this time because not only am I going to do my creamer again, but we're going to do a uh, creamy southwest chicken and the coconut milk will go in that dish. And again, just some sparkling water. I forgot to bring out, but I did get the pineapple juice again. And then this is absolutely delicious, but it is just 100% Honeycrisp apples. And uh, you want to use it in moderation. I actually cut it with a water too because it's so sweet. Or, again, with some seltzer water, give yourself a little mocktail. But there we go, guys. That is this week's shopping trip. Uh, some things like olive oil, Dijon mustard, Trying to think of what else I had from the previous week. The clarified butter. So that stuff isn't shown here, but you, I mean, you guys will, you'll figure it out. When you buy that stuff, obviously you don't need to buy it every week. So one week's shopping trip might cost you a lot more than the next, especially if it's your first, first go round in your first week. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, please subscribe, guys. I'm going to have a lot more of these shopping trips and a lot more videos on uh, recipes and, and quick and easy meals. Thanks.